Hey y'all, what is up? It's Kimberly here. For those of y'all that don't know me, hi, my name is Kimberly. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm an American and I make videos about Deutschland, about Germany. So if that's your cup of tea, if that's your thing, then please consider subscribing to my channel and like this video. In today's video, I'm going to address a topic that I've talked about in previous videos multiple times and each time I've talked about it there's been one comment where it's like extend expand on that topic so I decided what the heck I've already hit so many controversial topics in the past few videos I might as well keep triggering people and make a video about the famous Kim Kardashian um, so I did write a lot of notes about what I want to talk about today because if I didn't write notes I think I would go on super long rants um, and I realized that in this video I'm going to talk more so about the Kardashian family as a whole but I'm in particular talking about Kim Kardashian um, but there are a lot of notes that I have where it's just talking about the Kardashian family as a whole um, but again, yeah. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about Kim Kardashian and America's unhealthy obsession with this toxic figure. First of all, Hollywood as a whole is extremely toxic and it makes me sad because a lot of international people, when they think of America, they think it's like Hollywood. Um, and Hollywood, in my opinion, is just so far off from reality that it's really not representative of America as a whole. But in particular, I think Kim Kardashian is by far the most toxic. I have absolutely like zero admiration or anything for this family. I really do not even know where to start because I literally have so much to say about this topic. I feel like if you and I were drinking a beer, this is a topic I could go on and on about for the next hour and a half. So for those of y'all that are absolutely living underneath the rock, Kim Kardashian is one of the most richest, most famous Hollywood celebrities alive. What a lot of people don't know is that the Kardashian's father used to be a lawyer for O.J. Simpson's trial, so that's kind of how they had their elite status. And before Kim Kardashian was Kim Kardashian, she was actually a maid for elite celebrities like Paris Hilton. And then after a number of events and a sex tape later, we have Kim Kardashian where she is today, an American icon, the new beauty standard here. And while I think any form of beauty standards is harmful, Kim Kardashian, in my opinion, is just the worst beauty standard ever because none of it is real or natural whatsoever. I do like that Kim Kardashian doesn't fit the stereotypical cookie cutter beauty standard of being blonde and having blue eyes, so I will give credit for that. But overall, I mean, her whole body is just fake and she tries to convince people otherwise, that it's natural and this and that. I wasn't even supposed to go on to a rant right now about that, but I just have so many issues with the fact that she's America's beauty standard because none of it is real. It's all plastic. Anyways, the Kardashian family is arguably one of the most influential in America as well as in the world. Not only do they hold a lot of wealth and power, but they are seen as icons and people in my generation and the generation above me. So you may be thinking, well, Kimberly, they've done numerous charitable acts. They're not all bad. And yes, I agree. They have done charitable things. They've done good things. They've done their deeds for sure. But haven't we essentially all like I think if you're just not an inherently evil person you've done some good um, and not all bad first off the amount of consumerism that they promote just makes me sick um, if you watch keeping up with the Kardashians or any part about it you can definitely tell that a big component of what makes that show and what makes the Kardashians the Kardashians is how lavish their lifestyle is, how they have 
all of this like merchandise and cars and mansions and clothing and it's just so much like I don't know why anybody has to live that excessively and they just really promote it in certain ways so by this I mean they're constantly having their new merchandise lines. For example, Kylie Jenner with her makeup, Kim Kardashian with her new shapewear, um, which I will be devastated if Kim Kardashian's shapewear line beats out, what is it called, Skins? Because the CEO and founder of that company is actually inspirational, unlike Kim Kardashian. And I feel like overall, the whole Kardashian family, they promote this idea that if you don't have what they have, then you're not fully satisfied or happy or fulfilled with life. And Kim Kardashian promoting her new line while Kanye West is running for president right now just really bothers me. Like her relationship is going and she's promoting a new line like i get it if it's your livelihood but in my personal opinion i think they're way beyond a financial point of having to support their family or their livelihood so another reason why i think the kardashian family is a harmful icon for america is because they promote toxic relationships left and right whether it's a romantic relationship a family relationship or a friend relationship and none of it is authentic. It's all based on what can you do for me um, and not what can we do for each other. And it's just really scary to see how these sisters interact with each other. Um, I know that recently that one video went viral of Kim and Courtney, I think it was, getting into a physical fight. And there were a lot of car comments actually supporting this fight. And they were like, well, you know, people don't realize that's how family relationships are like. That's how sister relationships are like. In my personal opinion, that's not acceptable because they're no longer teenagers or kids. They're grown adults, they have kids, they're in their mid ages and they're fighting like that. I just think it's so beyond toxic and I think it's scary that people in my generation and the people of above, above me are looking up to the Kardashians as a foundation, as a model for what a good family dynamic is like. Um, but besides that, all of these women have been in toxic relationships in and out and yeah i think mostly all of them have just stayed in toxic relationships which is really scary i just think that it's sending really dangerous subconscious messages to women my age older even younger that this is what a good romantic relationship looks like when in reality it's actually really toxic not good not beneficial and i don't know what psychologists would say this is healthy and unfortunately i think because of how they're so used to acting all the time being a part of this performance with the reality tv show that they've lost any sort of empathy for each other it's almost just become a transactional action between all of the women on that show as well as i mean there's not really men on the show but like all of the sisters the way they interact it's it's just a money thing. It's just a transactional thing. And I definitely see that in particular with Kim Kardashian. When Courtney said that she wanted to leave the show, do her personal thing, focus on her family and all of that, Kim's response was, well, you hardly work anyways. I'm the most hardworking person here. And I just thought that was so disgusting of her to react that way because it's like if your sister is trying to say that they want to better themselves, shouldn't you be 100% on board with that? But instead, you're worried that you're going to lose money, essentially. I just thought that was really shallow and I think that's really toxic. Overall, I think that Kim Kardashian is just way out of touch with reality, what's really happening in the world. I think that... She wants to be that figure and that model, that person that people look up to as a charitable person, as a person that gives back. But I think she really struggles with giving back because she's hardly had a struggle. Yes, everybody has struggles in their life, 
but the struggles that other women have gone through, Kim Kardashian just can't relate to that on that level. She can relate to the rich people struggle, the paparazzi struggle, having everybody always looking at you. But again, in my opinion too, with a reality TV show, she's putting her personal life out there. So I don't think that she can really complain about it because she is deciding to put her whole life out there. Not only that, but like I was saying at the beginning of the video is that she just has absolutely unhealthy beauty standards. So the way she looks, other women think that they should look like that, that they should have that hourglass figure, big boobs, big butt. And Kim Kardashian has said multiple times that she hasn't had any work done, but I mean, come on. It, to me, it's just so obvious that she's had quite a bit of work done. There's no way that somebody that is her age looks like that in her face, looks like that in her lips, looks like that in her body. I remember seeing Kim Kardashian's look from the 2019 Met Gala and thinking, oh my gosh, can this poor woman even breathe? Like they cinched her waist so tightly. Um, but again, I just think that all of this just promotes an unhealthy body image and it really causes women to look at themselves and to be unhappy with what they see. Even though what they're seeing is just a normal God-given body, Kim Kardashian has basically just said more is better and it's going to be scary to see, in my opinion, what she looks like when she's 70 years old and the fact that 70-year-old women are going to think that they have to look like her. I just like, that blows my mind. I think the thing that bothers me the most is how they always say that they're natural, but all of us can tell that they're not natural, which is okay. Like I'm not against plastic surgery by any means, but the fact that celebrities deny it, I think that's very toxic and harmful because normal women think, oh, this is what I should look like naturally, even though it's not, even though what you're actually seeing is just plastic surgery. It's work being done by surgeons. So I think it's very toxic in that regard. I think it would be a lot healthier if Kim Kardashian would just say, hey, I've gotten plastic surgery done. This is what I've gotten, X, Y, Z. It's not real. I got it because this is something that I wanted to do, but you look great the way that you are. But instead, she just continues to deny it and act like she never gets work done. And my last point is that her husband is Kanye West. And I know this is really controversial and women should not be a reflection of who they are with, but in my opinion and in this one instance, I feel like she is a bit of a reflection of him only because she really enabled his behavior time and time again when Kanye West basically came at Taylor Swift and said all of those ugly, nasty things. Kim Kardashian instantly pointed the blame at Taylor Swift and continually bullied her even though it was Kanye West wrong and everybody knew that. Just the, her whole attitude about Kanye, when Kanye West said that he was running for president, she was the first one retweeting all of his things, backing him up and supporting him. And I get that as a wife, you feel you need to support your husband in a lot of regards, but it's just crazy to me because Kanye West has demonstrated so many signs of having mental issues. And instead of getting the problems actually fixed, she just enables it, supports it, and really promotes it. And again, like I said earlier, after this whole presidential thing happened, after he had that one rally, Kim Kardashian came out about it, and I really like that she did that, but then she was also, you know, the next tweet or something like that, promoting her shapewear line and all of that, and I just couldn't even picture being in that position where you know that your husband is kind of screwing up the country and he has all of these mental problems happening and you're still promoting your product line. I don't know, it just it seems a little bit fake to me. It, again, it just, to me, shows that all she cares about at the end of the day is money and I think that's just blatantly obvious that the Kardashians care about money and they find their happiness in money, which is really, really, again, toxic. I've probably said toxic about 20 times in this video. Um, Y'all should take a shot every time I've said the word toxic, but yes, I just think it's really sad how we have wonderful activists, philanthropists in the U.S. We have great scientists, um, great philanthropists, and we have degraded ourselves down to being 
a Kardashian family country. And I think that's just the saddest part about all of it is that the people that truly deserve recognition recognition in this country do not get recognition in this country. And the people that can't take responsibility for their actions or what they're doing, at the end of the day, they get, again, all of the attention. And it just makes me very sad for America. And I hope that this is something that the newer generation will decide to change. And I hope that they will start to admire different figures because my generation, I'm very ashamed of who we have as icons. I think it's just very sad. Um, there's no other word that I have to say for this. But I do think Kim Kardashian has a great name. So there's that. Um, no, but seriously guys, I would really love to hear what y'all think about this video. What do y'all think about the Kardashian family? I know 90% of my subscribers are German, so if you're German, what is your perception of Kim Kardashian and the Kardashian family as a whole? I gave y'all my standpoint, I gave y'all what I think about this whole entire fiasco family. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more of my content. I will see you guys next time. Ciao, tschüss, bis dann.